Hey, coffee lovers, Mark from WholeLatteLove.com and Morgan's with me. Hey, Mark, we have quite a few grinders on the table. What are we looking at today? We're going to look at the, the range of Barazza grinders. And if you've been researching grinders, you've definitely come across the name Barazza, one of the more popular grinders out there. Um, so we have seven different models from Barazza. We're going to take a listen to them all. We're going to show you all the features of each one. Let's try and, try and do that as quickly as we can because there's a lot to go over here. Uh, but we start with the Encore, the Virtuoso, and the Preciso. Um, these three grinders, you can see they all look very similar, mm -hmm. and they all use a very similar burr. Well, the same burr. It's a 40 millimeter conical stainless steel burr. I'll take off the bean hopper here. It's the same bean hopper on all three, by the way. And then you can see there's what the, the burr looks like yep. on these guys. And it's the same burr in all, all the first three here. So let's, what are the differences? Well, let's start with the Encore. Um, some grinders are better for espresso, some are more designed for uh, more forgiving brewing methods like drip and pour over and that where the grind size isn't nearly as critical. So on the Encore first, it's all plastic construction on the outside. The grind's bin, this is where your ground coffee's going to end up. On the front here you've got a pulse button. For adjusting the grind you just turn the hoppers here. You can see the little marks here, we've got 40 steps of grind size adjustment. So the Encore is going to be best suited to, you know, those more forgiving methods like drip and pour over and those kinds. Okay. Now, can you do espresso on this? Yes, you could. Are the results going to be incredibly awesome? Are you going to get gouge shots? No. Okay. Uh, but if, say, for instance, you're using a lower cost uh, semi-automatic machine, maybe with pressurized filter baskets, could, mm -hmm. you, could you get away with it? Yeah, you could. Okay. Um, again, not the best results. Um, moving up one step is a virtuoso. Now this, you saw all plastic on the Encore, this adds some metal. Again, it's got the same burr um, and the same 40 grind steps. Little pulse button up front and then, oh, on the Encore on the side we just have on-off switch. Something to keep in mind, if you turn that on and walk away, it'll just continue to go forever and ever. Okay. And that could be a problem. Um, over on the virtuoso, a little different here, we have a timer switch. It's not marked in time, but if you let that go, you can see it winding down and it's going to shut off all on its own. Also, a little, you can hear the difference in the sound between the two of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little, little nicer sound on the Virtuoso. Um, so, the Virtuoso, same, same sort of an idea as far as being able to do espresso with it. You, you, could you? Sure. You're not going to get the greatest results, though. Okay. Um, then moving up, and so these two 40 grind settings, now we get up into the world where we can get a little more serious about doing espresso. That's with the Preciso. Now you can see we have the same 40 grind settings up here, but then within each one of those settings, we've got detents for A through K to micro adjust within each one of those settings. So a lot more control stepping yeah. up to this grinder. Yeah, so the end result is, you know, you have, you know, what is it, 440 some grind settings on this one. And espresso is all about getting the grind right yep. and getting it fresh. And since you can do espresso here, it also comes with, it's got that, it does come with, with a, a grounds bin holder, so you can grind for, you know, into a bin that slides right in. Oh, if you slide it in the right way, <laughs> like that. And then it also comes with the, this porta holder. So you can see the little clips in here. So you can put your porta filter right in there and you can grind right into that. Okay. And then uh, that has the timed grinding as well yeah, on so the side. Yeah, so just like the Virtuoso, it's got that same timer, so you, you can walk away and it will shut off. Um, and then it also has the pulse button up front and the, the, some metal here as well. Okay. Okay. And on to the next, we've got the Vario. So on the Vario, things, things change quite a bit. We've got two models of the Vario. One grinds based on time, and then we got the Vario W, which grinds based on weight. Um, now, these also have larger burrs in them, and let's, we'll take a look at the burrs here. I'll just open up the Vario W here. I'm not going to pull the top burr off, but you can kind of see in there, this is a 54 millimeter ceramic burr. It's flat. That's in both of these. Um, also, the, uh, well, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, so what you have here, instead of the turning of the hopper, you have a coarse grind setting here. And then for each one of those coarse settings, you can micro adjust it. So you can really tune the grind in. Mm -hmm. Now on the standard Vario, you're going to grind by time. So right now I have 11 seconds set. You can have a, and you've got three, three possibilities here. 
Um, and so you can set these for whatever you want. If you want to change that, say to, you know, I need 35.6 seconds for my, for my drip coffee. And then I just press and hold that three button. When it flashes, it's remember that time when I go back to it. Um, you can also just go manual with it if you want. Um, so I'm in manual right now. And you hear that, that sounds a lot different than the other ones. Different motor in, in these machines, a lot smoother. Okay, and this one also comes with the grounds bin as well as yeah, the portafilter the holder. Yeah, grounds bin and the portafilter holder. I like this portafilter holder. When you put the uh, portafilter in there, you can see that it's got a nice kind of shoot down into it, so mm -hmm. stuff's not going to go all over the place. And it's all, that's a nice heavy piece of metal. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, over on the Vario W, um, so the hopper's a little different over on the Vario W. I'm going to take this off just so we can have a look at it here. So it's got a shut off on it right here. So if you ever want to switch out your beans, it makes it pretty easy. You just close it, then you can take this off and beans aren't going to go everywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, we've, we've experienced that before. <laughs> oh, just a couple times, yeah. right? Um, oh, and all these, all these, all the brasses do have a safety feature. So, it won't. If I just put this on here and try and run it, it's not going to run. I have to have make sure that's positively locked before it'll run. Um, so they all have that. Okay. Same amount of uh, grind settings. Same amount of grind settings. So the same macro and micro adjustments. Um, and again, you've got more metal on the Varios here mm -hmm. than you do on the other ones. Yep. Um, so here's a little mechanism that weighs right here um, and it's got a tear button so when you get your when you're weighing out coffee you press the tear button first to get everything zeroed out and then you can select from three different weights and this is in grams and again if you wanted to change this say you know I, I well I want you know I don't know 12 grams so we'll go down to 12 and just press and hold the button here until it flashes for a second and now it'll store that, that amount. So as I go back and forth. So you can always get the same amount. Okay. And weighing is what most people are doing now. If they're really into espresso, they're weighing out their doses. Mm -hmm. um, also, people are weighing for things like pour over. And if you want to be really precise with drip, you could do it there as well. Yep. Um, now this doesn't, so this just comes with the grounds bin. Um, it does not come with the metal portafilter holder. Okay. Okay. So but now, you do have the nicer hopper. Yes. So now up to the Fortes. So these come with the lovely screens here to turn on. So that first version that we're going to look at, that's the Forte AP. This one here, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, so it has a nicer hopper as well. These, the Fortes are all metal. Okay. And this is the AP model. So this has that same 54 millimeter, well, we take a look at it, ceramic burr inside. Kind of hard to see in there. Um, it also comes with some tools. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. So with on the Varios and the Fortes, you'll get this tool that's for removing the top burr. And then you also get these tools. These um, are very, so every once in a while you're going to calibrate your grinder. And the way this works is this, you pull this guy out and your little calibration tool goes up into the hole here and then you can adjust uh, the grind here. And there's instructions on how to do that all over the place. Um, on the Preciso Virtuoso and Encore, uh, adjusting that's a little more labor intensive. So this makes it nice and easy. Um, so again, here you've got the, that nice metal port holder again. And we really like that. And the bin. Um, and then this one, uh, so you can grind by time or weight. Now if you're grinding by weight, you can't use a port holder You'd have to use the bin. But same sort of idea, you can set three different weights in here. Um, and if you want to change, adjust, it's just, you know, press, so I'll adjust down a little bit here and just press and hold the one you want to save it to. When it flashes, you've got it. So now we go to the second weight, we'll go back. So you can always keep that weight or you can just go completely manual and you just hit start and you'll go. Okay. Um, and then you can also grind by time in tenth of a second increments. So you can set this. So if I press start now, it's going to just grind. It gives you the countdown. And if you're grinding by weight, you'll see it. You'll see the weight count up as well. You can stop it at any time. And a couple more grind adjustments on the Forte models than the Varios, right? Because you've got 26 micro adjustments. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of interesting. Over on, on the Varios, it goes from A to W for the micro adjustments, and on the Fortes, you have A to Z. So they use the whole alphabet over here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the same 10 steps over here. 
And, and again, more, more metal. I mean, this whole exterior case is metal. Um, a really solid grinder. That's kind of cool on the back. Operates can turn off as well. Um, so then over on the other Forte here, the BG for brew grinder. Let's turn that on. Exact same thing. The only difference, well, a couple differences really with this. Um, same adjustments, same working with weight and times and being able to go manual. But this one has the uh, stainless steel burr. Let me show you that real quick. So instead of a ceramic burr inside, you've got a stainless burr. And whether you like stainless or ceramic, it's kind of a personal preference, I guess. They say ceramics stay sharper longer, but are more prone to if you know you had a little tiny rock in your coffee beans or something, it might chip the ceramics easier. And the Forte models, they have um, upgraded motors. So they've got those high-torque DC motors. Yeah. I mean, listen, you know, yeah, just listen to these guys. I mean, they sound really smooth compared to maybe some of the other ones. Mm -hmm. So let's go over, we'll put some beans in each one so you can just kind of really hear what they're like. So we'll start over at the Encore. And I'm just going to, I'm going to take it all the way fine and we'll run it for a sec here. For more sex, let's do this. Let's get them down in there. So there's our there's our grind there. There goes our beans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's the loudest of the bunch, right? The yeah, probably the loudest. Um, you know, they're spending a little bit more in the motors on the on the other ones here. So put some in the virtuoso here. Try not to have those fall over. Let me use a little timer here. Instead of crying. Yeah, so there's our, there's our grind. I don't know what was I. I was at about a ten out of forty. So zero being the finest. Then we'll go to the encore. Put some in here, and let's get our. What I do that port a filter. Oh, there it is. Excuse me. Cause I really like that. That's kind of cool. Do that. Can you see how it? Grinds into our porta filter there. I won't grind a whole shot, but there we go. Um, yeah, those over to the Vario. This again, just give you an idea of how these sound when they're actually grinding. I go real fine here. So that's nearly its finest fine. But again, this is the entry level into really, you know, high class grinding for, for the better machines. And this, this one's gonna sound essentially the same. So we'll just do the forte here. You know what I like to do sometimes? Just to really see the guy. So I'm gonna go all the way fine on this. That's a really fine grind. And these are right out of the box. We did not recalibrate these or anything. So that's, that's pretty fine. Mm -hmm. um, so again, I mean, let's just wrap it up. So the Encore, you know, probably best for, for drip, uh, you know, not espresso. Can you get away with it? Eh, maybe. Most people wouldn't recommend it. Um, Virtuoso gives you the, you know, the auto shutoff with a timer, some more metal. Preciso comes with a porta filter holder here and the bin. So if you're doing espresso, um, and this is kind of the entry into really be able to do a better espresso for Might higher see end. more grind settings on that one. A lot more, and yeah. that's what you really need for the espresso. Mm -hmm. And then the Vario and the Forte, uh, a lot more grind settings, stronger motors, lots more metal. Um, again, you have two versions of the Vario, one that grinds by time, one that grinds by weight. And just remember that on the, the one that grinds by time has a port filter holder. The Vario W does not come with that port filter holder. Mm -hmm. Kind of confusing. Um, and then on the Forte, the two different models of the Forte, the, uh, what, it's the AP and the BG. The BG is a stainless steel burr. The AP is a ceramic burr um, with the port filter holder. 
and the BG does not have that. Mm -hmm. And they both have those touchscreen displays. Yes, very nice touchscreen displays and very accurate weights, which is what where Espresso seems to be going. Most people are really weighing out their doses now. Okay. Um, so there you go. That's that's the line of Baratza. And they triangles. are all available at wholelattelove.com. They sure are. So thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com.